In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, good afternoon, uh, good night, good mid-morning, good whatever time it is, whichever part of the Republic of, uh, of this world that you are, whichever corner of the globe that you are, it is Ash Wednesday in the East African time and here in Kenya. 17th day of February in the year of our Lord and Savior 2021. Today, the church celebrates Ash Wednesday. And uh, for Monday and Tuesday, we've been preparing ourselves for what we need to do before or as we prepare for Lent. Lent starts officially today. And Ash Wednesday get its name from the early traditions in the Christian church in Rome when penitents and sinners would partake in a period of public penance. And uh, right from there, I know I'll be able to offer this history in depth on my Facebook page, but what is important is that uh, Ash Wednesday started as a day of public penance, I did remind you, I think on Tuesday or Wednesday or, or Monday, about the biblical tradition also of, of uh, wearing ashes, because ashes are a sign of penance. Number two, Ash Wednesday, of course, is officially known as uh, the Day of Ashes. It is a day of repentance. From when this is when Christians confess their sins and profess their devotion to God. It is today. So today, Christians will receive ashes. I like putting it this way, though I know for pastoral reasons um, the norm may be different, but it is today that Christians receive ashes, not any other day. Christians will receive ashes on other days because of pastoral reasons, either because of availability of priests or whatever. I know there are those who may have celebrated this, who may have anticipated Ash Wednesday. I know there are those who will also be able to, to celebrate it as days rose by, whatever the case. That does not remove the fact that um, Ash Wednesday, Ash Wednesday is today, and this is the day of the ashes. Now listen here. If you have received the ashes, if you receive the ashes later, of course that does not make you less of a human person. It only means that for pastoral reasons, that is what was done. But the day of the ashes in the Catholic liturgical calendar is one. But because of pastoral reasons, uh, things may be done differently. But it is good to know that what is done differently for pastoral reasons does not remove the fact that the day of the ashes is one. In some countries, this day is a holiday because it has signals, it has signaled as it were, the coming of Lent. So from today, we enter into Lent and on Friday, it will be the first Friday uh, that we do the way of the cross. It's also good to note that um, Ash Wednesday is not definite in every season. It falls on different dates depending on the year. If you look at how things were last year, last year, Easter Sunday was 16th. So you can go back two weeks when now we got the Ash Wednesday. Now this year, Easter will be 1st of April. So then you can imagine that uh, where we are celebrating our Ash Wednesday and where we celebrated last year, completely different. So this year, Easter, 1st of April. Next, uh, last year, Easter, 16th of April. So that means that on different days, uh, we celebrate Ash Wednesday. It is, of course, the first day of Lent. 
So today we cannot say that we are about to start Lent. Ash Wednesday is the very first day of Lent. Now, this is marked by marking with ashes on the forehead. And that will happen today. I know uh, as you listen, there are those, depending on the country where you are, maybe to some of you, Mass has already happened. To others, Mass is coming uh, in a few hours. Others, later in the day. Whatever the case, it is good to note that this day, Christians, and specifically Catholics, will receive ashes on their foreheads. Where does the ashes come from? The ashes comes from the palms that have been burnt. The palms that were used last year on Palm Sunday. This is a day of fasting. It's also good to note that for Catholics, Ash Wednesday is a day of fasting. And uh, some may want to ask, is this a day of obligation? The answer is no, but it's a day of fasting. Uh, then, it's also good to understand that uh, there are a few things that the adults will be allowed to do, but children are not. When it comes to fasting, children are exempted. Maybe I'll be able to look at the, the rules of fasting later, but it's good to note that uh, we are required today to wear the ashes as it were. And, and therefore, I want to encourage those of you who are Catholics and everybody else who is a Christian who believes in the ashes and ash when it's the end Lent that this is the day it is not tomorrow let me first say something to all our Kenyans those who are so busy they can't be available for the ashes today ash when it comes only once a year however busy you are we cannot turn next Sunday into Ash Wednesday. It is not Ash Sunday, the day of the ashes. I know some will be hoping that they can be considered because Wednesday is a working day. It is not like, like, uh, supposed to be that way. Create time. If you cannot create time, Recreate time. Now that is important. Recreate time. And once you are able to understand that, then we, are, we, can, we can move and move forward. Please make sure that you are not so busy for the Ash Wednesday. And then you tell us that, you know, we were so busy, we can, we can maybe be considered on Sunday. Sunday is not Ash Wednesday. And if you receive ashes on Sunday, it will be for pastoral reasons. Maybe the priest or the bishop, they'll be having reasons why it is done. But strictly speaking, underline those two words, strictly speaking, ashes are applied on only one day, the Ash Wednesday. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive day and a productive Lenten season. God bless.